G'day, it's uh, Mark here. Just uh, another quick uh, impromptu screencast, uh, this time about uh, Java 8 and lambdas and function composition. So the other day we had a small discussion on Google Plus around about function composition in Java 8. Uh, I believe this was uh, on a thread based around Venkat, some recent JetBrains TV talk on lambdas. Uh, one of the participants mentioned that he doesn't think lambdas and Java 8 are any good because you can't do function composition because of the way it hands around interfaces. So this is just a very quick demonstration of how function composition in Java 8 actually works. So let's say we've got a list of, of integers and we want to, let's, let's just start from there. So we'll have a list of Let's just put some random values in here. Cool. Now we'll first define our first function to, uh, let's just say we'll do one that will uh, double each value. So we'll go from an integer to an integer and we'll call it double it, and that will take i, i times 2. Now, let's just see that this actually works. So if we take our ints and get a stream, and then we will map double it over it, and then for each, we will Just print that value. Now if we run this, and we can see one, two, three, two, four, six. Yep, so that's doing what we expect. Okay, now let's go into a little bit of the function composition. So let's say we actually want to print this out as a um, we want to double the values and then print out the hexadecimal version of them. So we will, um, let's say, uh, double hex it equals double it. So we refer to the function that we've got already and then we now take in the i to string. And is that what I'm wanting to do? And then if we just define that variable, now we have a function that goes from an integer to a string. And so I can now make the pass in here, double hex it. And if we rerun, then we have the hex versions of everything that's dub been doubled. So, and then is a, a new Java 8 default method on the function interface. Um, and you can just apply that to any function and so anything that is a function um, yeah you can then just do function composition and that will return you a new function that then just chains onto the original function very much similar to what you have in Scala. So function composition just works and this is actually very kind of handy. So yeah, goodbye.